Hey fellow Backyard Boyers, Nick here. Now today I'm reviewing this Schrade Old Timer Fixed Blade Knife. Now I bought this about two years ago when I was out on the coast collecting mussels. I hadn't brought a fixed blade with me and I wanted something that I could use for collecting mussels. I thought that this gut hook would make a nice little line cutter for freeing and prying and pulling things apart and I was really drawn to this because of this handle. Now this knife has a roughly four inch, it's a little over four inch blade which for me is a good length for an all-around fixed blade knife. It's got a good thickness to it and I ended up using this kind of like a pry bar and in that respect it performed really well. Now the main reason I picked this knife was because of the handle. Out of all the knives the little shop I visited had, this was the only one that seemed to have a handle that I thought would be really good for use out on the rocks. Very grippy, I figured you could get a solid grip on it even if your hands were slimy, even if things were slippery. And it's got a very interesting texture to it. It's sort of a rubbery feel to it. It's very squishy. I don't know if you can see. Everything is just really squishy about this handle. And when you're holding it, it's really comfortable. So I was excited to go out and use this. So after using this knife, one of the big downsides for me was the handle. Now I had originally picked this knife because I thought this sort of overmolded rubber handle would be great for what I needed it for. I figured it'd have good grip, it would be comfortable, I could do a lot with it, and that it would keep my hand firmly in place. When I actually used it, I found that when it got wet and slimy, this suddenly lost its grippiness and got pretty slick. And another thing too is that while it looks like there's a guard here, because this handle is so squishy, this guard really doesn't do a lot, especially if your hand wants to slide up onto the blade. So that was one of the big problems for me, that this handle was really too squishy for what I needed it for. That said, I believe this knife is supposed to be something of a skinning blade or a hunting knife, and for that, I do believe this handle would be great. It's something that wouldn't get cold on a winter day. You know, you, you could be wet and slimy, and while it would be a little slick in the hand, you could still get a decent grip on it and do all of the cutting tasks you needed to do. I could see this being a very comfortable knife. But for what I needed it for, it didn't seem all that safe. Another thing that I don't really like about this knife is the sheath. I'm usually a fan of leather sheaths and this is a fairly decent sheath. It's got a nice retention strap here very secure. Once this is in there, you know, this knife isn't going anywhere. But other than that, it just doesn't feel like this sheath matches this knife. I don't feel like the overmolded rubber grip really goes well with this black leather. And you can see there's this gap here. There's really no thought to making this knife really fit this sheath. But that's something you do see on more affordable knives where the sheath doesn't necessarily fit the knife. But one of the things I don't like, especially with a rubber handle on this, you get the feeling like this knife is meant to be dirty, meant to be used. And the sheath really doesn't advertise that. You've really got to care for it. If you get stuff in here, you know, like salt water or blood, it's going to affect the sheath and it's going to be a pain to clean it out. That said, one of my biggest cons with this knife goes back to this handle. Because it's sort of over molded on, I thought that there was maybe some sort of adhesive inside of here containing the tang. Well as you can see, the blade does rust a little bit even though it is stainless steel. And if you look inside of this handle, you can actually pull the handle away from the tang. And if you twist it from side to side, you can feel that the tang is just sitting inside of the handle. 
And even this pin, you can see the tang down in there. So what that means is if you do get salt water or blood or anything inside of here, that can corrode and weaken the tang. Now, that's not a problem I've had, just a concern. I feel it's kind of strange that this handle can just come apart from the tang so easily. I mean, you can really see what the tang looks like. But that's it. As far as edge retention goes, I was pretty happy with it. The factory edge wasn't that great. And I wanted to use it right away, so I also picked up just a cheap whetstone. And it took me about 10 minutes to get an edge that I was really happy with. Now, once I put an edge on it, it held it really well. And so, just as a, a general hunting knife, I would use this. Now, overall, it's a good sized knife. I'm pretty happy with the way it holds an edge. The overall shape is really nice and the handle is comfortable. But again, there were some issues I had with the handle being too squishy, it's slick when wet, and just the fact that you can sort of pry it away from the tang and there's nothing protecting the tang from corrosion that kind of bugs me. But here it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.